Hello, this is Archie Infermo here at Charles Street Gardens with Yosef Karam. This is another in a series of Yosef's tips. This is actually a project which fixes nitrogen, and I'll pan in a little closer, from the air into the soil, and then it's catched. And he's going to show you about the catchment process and how and what this is about. Go ahead, Yosef. Okay. It is not really nitrogen alone. Mm -hmm. What I have here in this container compost, horse manure, topsoil, and I grow earthworms in it. What the earthworms eat from what I feed these, mm -hmm. I will explain later what I feed. Okay. Uh, give you balanced fertilizer, very natural. And the legume family plants I grow here get the nitrogen from the atmosphere. Okay by the bacteria that grow in the roots of ah. these plants. So and you're encouraging the root production also? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you the purpose of this. Okay. I get this water. Ah. I did not analyze it. The color comes different from time to time. In mm -hmm. the beginning, when the compost... So what kind of beans do you have there that uh, actually... Uh, I have fava beans. Yes. Peas. Uh-huh. Peas, pole beans, uh, gelatin with this asparagus peas, all what I grow here from the legume family. And all of them had different percentage of fixing. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, the water that I got... So this is the result? The result, yeah. And my purpose, just I start this, and my ideas come one after one. Mm -hmm. The last idea is to make this system to grow plants yes. in the deserts, in ah, the mountains, yes. there are rocks. Where there's little water, and that's little arid. Water. Okay. For example, if you grow tomato plant in the desert, you bring like four pockets of water and right. water them. Then the next day you feel them thirsty. Oh my God. Then you put again, because the water goes through mm -hmm. the sand in the, and it, how concentrated is this water that you're saving, which is from worm castings and the nitrogen that's in the soil? Honestly, I did not analyze that uh -huh. so far. But, do you, but you should probably dilute it with so many gallons of water, if right? it is concentrated, yes. it should dilute it. And okay. if it is not concentrated like this, you can water with it. Mm, okay. No so it's safe. Uh, it's last, organic and it's yeah. sustainable. The last idea that gets to my yes. mind is to grow these things in the desert, in Rocky Mountains. Uh, ah. With, if you have very weak spring of water, you can mm -hmm. water it. Up, up and would you out. set those in big containers, or uh, how would you? Kind of like bigger, smaller. Okay. Uh, you water the first one, then you collect water. All right. And you go to the second one. Got it. Therefore, the pocket of water serve you a lot not I going see. through the sand okay this is brilliant what do you what do you call this i call it yes i call it this is the cow that <laughs> yields milk for the plants fantastic well yeah, thank this is what i call Joseph, it so this far. is wonderful well thank you very much for explaining we'll have another video with you in it on yeah, one of I'm your really tips thinking of very serious movie not 5 minutes video